95.7 WRR, 60s, 70s, 80s, all in one place. Let's stand and I together. The Stones <laughs> with Lauren and Wally. Good morning, good morning, good morning. That is the song that uh, they did on the Ed Sullivan Show. And Ed Sullivan said to them, don't say, let's spend the night together. They were supposed to say, let's spend some time together. <laughs> and they said, let's spend the night together. <laughs> they did it anyway. So they never played again. On the Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That is amazing, really. Yeah, I know. Think about yeah. it. Really, you know, I'm reading. To see where we've come from, then <laughs> I'm reading the Smothers. Well, I just finished it. The 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 Smothers Brothers biography, autobiography, and all the troubles they had with the censors with CBS, and they ended up just firing the Smothers. They canceled the show. The, the when you think about some of the word breast, they could not even <laughs> say the word breast. And there was and it's funny because there was a line in one of the sketches they had that it says my my. My heart beats softly in my breast for you. So Tommy Smothers r ran it by this, and they said, no, you can't say that. So just to screw with the censors, <laughs> Tommy put my wrist. <laughs> he put My it heart beats gently in my, my wrist, wrist for, you. for you. Just to make it sound so ridiculous. That <laughs> really? <they're>, it's <laughs> amazing the stuff they were censoring then. It's hey, crazy. See what the uh, commute's doing, Hank's here this morning. Hanky Spanky, what's going on, buddy? My breasts are heaving as I deliver this <laughs> to you. <laughs> yeah, very good. Yeah, good. Hank Morse, 105.7 WROR. So do you guys uh, think that the uh, Tiger Woods thing is kind of uh, ridiculous, yep. the thing they're doing today? Yep. They're uh, breaking is, uh, into regular programming. Yeah, they're <laughs> actually going to interrupt regular programming yeah. for the Tiger Woods uh, statement. And it's not a press conference because no questions are going to be asked. It's just going to make a statement. Five to seven uh, minutes is what they're saying. Well, now, don't you think, though, really, that the network's do research and they, they think know people that are we want to see this. That's so. right. They do think we want to see this. <laughs> so that's, I mean, I don't know if you can really totally and, blame them. And then yesterday, Ernie Els was all upset saying yep. that, uh, you know, that he shouldn't be making. I uh, saw that. It, you know, it's uh, disrespectful to golf and it should be. But I'm thinking, you know, Tiger Woods is getting back at Accenture now because yeah. they're the first ones who dumped him. So these during <laughs> their, their golf their, tournament, he's going to interrupt their, their <laughs> golf tournament. So <laughs> oh, I never do. even thought of that. And, that's uh, funny. I've got a little, uh, the, what they, they don't know if this is true but online yesterday a piece of his so-called speech this morning his statement <laughs> yeah <clears throat> directly to the point there is no one to blame but me for the mess i put my wife and family through i accept total and complete responsibility <laughs> my wife and i have been trying to work things out but sadly things have not worked out we've decided to live apart with me having mutually agreed upon times when i can be with our children i don't think he's going to say anything about his family like that i don't think he's going to reveal any I think he's just going to apologize. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. And right. certainly, you don't think she's going to be with him. Do you? No, no, no. Yeah. She's no, oh, she's going to be sitting with me watching. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. I do have enough. a couple of things that they're not expecting him to say during the press conference oh. today. They don't expect him to say, uh, "Hey, heard any good jokes lately?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no he's no, probably not no. going to say that yeah. because somebody <laughs> might tell him a joke. This is one hundred five point seven W R O R. It makes you feel like that. It's the WROR Winter Video Game. Be part of our elite field of competitors. Register at WROR.com for a chance to join Team Lorna Wally or Team Doyle and Devereaux. The teams compete in a video game tournament at Cardi's Furniture Superstore in Braintree, Thursday, February 25th from 6 to 8. The grand prize, a $500 Cardi's gift card. You're invited to come watch the games and play for other prizes. The first 105 to arrive receive a million. And from Maine, talking bottle opener. From the champions of the 12 ounce curl, 105.7 WROR. So, okay, sports time is here for WROR. Twin River brings you the sports. Thank today. you. Welcome to another thrilling episode of the exciting adventures of Men from Maine. Yeah. <laughs> right here on the Lauren and Wally Morning Show. The Lauren and Wally Show. 105.7 WROR. Oh, 105.7 WROR. 60s, 70s, 80s, all in one place. Lean on me. That's Bill Withers. Okay, it's uh, 21 past 6 now. So I, I'm at uh, Dunkin' Donuts down here on Bo Morrissey Boulevard about uh, a few minutes before 4 this morning, mm -hmm. uh, picking up my uh, usual uh, coffee run in the morning here. And I uh, run into this uh, cab driver. He says, hey, Lauren, how you doing? I said, I'm doing good, thanks. How you doing? He said, where's Wally? <laughs> I said, well, he's uh, coming down, uh, you know, from Lexington this morning. He said, yeah, I used to run into him at Dunkin' Donuts all the time. Uh, and he said, I haven't seen him lately. 
I said, oh, don't worry, he stops by someplace yeah, every day for his yeah. iced coffee. You, know? you make a good point, though, because there are so many different Dunkin' Donuts you can yeah, stop right. at. I mean, I there are like three different ones that I can, depending on where I am in my trip in, I can, you know, go to the one on Old Colony. And That's right. You know they're going to open one in Russia? Really? They're opening a Dunkin'. I just read it this morning because well, they had the 60th anniversary thing yesterday. That's right, yeah. With Lenny Clark, and they had said that there are plans on opening one in Russia. Well, they're going to love it. Who don't can guarantee it? Them. These, these Ruskies are going to have a great treat <laughs> coming their way. Yeah. Give me large mocha. <laughs>